Hi guys and welcome to another beer review. Today we've got another IPA from the Puyala Brewery. Apologies if I'm completely mispronouncing that. Out of Estonia. Reviewed a couple of their beers so far. Um, <clears throat> when they get it right, they get it right. But I don't know if it was the beer or it could have just been my bottle. But when I tried their coffee IPA, I think it was. I don't know, it just, there just seemed to be something a little bit gone awry with it but of course I've never had it since so I can't really do a fair assessment on that but what I like most about these guys is just the sheer creativity of some of their beers that I've seen and uh, I absolutely love the artwork as well so today we have got the Rota or Rota Cloudberry IPA clocking in at 6.7% in a 33 litre bottle uh, just seeing what ingredients are on there uh, do, 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 do. Not really seeing anything. Here we go. A juicy IPA brewed with Finnish rye and cloudberries. Uh, ingredients water, barley, rye, cloudberry, hops, and yeast. Not too sure what hops are in this one. But um, yeah, really lovely contemporary simple artwork. Just love how simple but beautiful it is. It's up there with the likes of. Um, Beaver Town and To All for me personally. And then you've got the equally contemporary and fantastic looking crown. So um, yeah, I, I'll have to find out who does the artwork for these guys and give them a shout out. So if I do, link is down below. So very excited for this one. Um, it was either this or a Black Forest IPA when I was in Beretta. And of course, you know, buyers with my choice think, oh, maybe I should have picked that other beer. But you know what? Next time I go there, if it's still there, I'm going to pick myself up a bottle. So anyway, a little bit muted on the neck of the bottle, and I've got beer on my nose. So let's pour a little bit into the glass and see what we get. See if we can get any aroma from this. Poured that really quite weakly, so not really generated much head at all, but yeah, people like to drink beers with a head, people like to drink it without a head. Me personally, it doesn't bother me. Uh, sometimes a head, I find, can actually enhance the character and mouthfeel of a beer. <coughs> but yeah, I've got about less than a finger's worth of maybe white, fluffy head. It's just more like dishwater dregs. But yeah, in terms of colour, nice hazy orangey sunset marmalade sort of colour. Uh, not really seeing any bits and bobs in there, not sure if it's a bottle conditioned beer or not, but there's definite haze and uh, yeah, nice amounts of gentle carbonation, especially when you swish the glass like that. So um, yeah, let's see if I can pick anything up. And I'll tell you straight away, I'm not familiar at all with Cloudberries, so I'm not sure what sort of flavour profile they give. I could have looked it up beforehand, but I'm um, yeah, you know, I'm a lazy bugger. So anyway, let's give it a sniff. I'm getting like a tart berry note. It sort of reminds me of uh, a gooseberry note. So I'm not sure if gooseberries are similar to cloudberries. But yeah, you do get that pungent, sour, almost like, you know, blueberry, uh, for you know, fruits of the forest, that sort of thing. But it's off centered with a nice, sweet, and tropical sort of IPA aroma. Oh, it's definitely a fruit bowl in terms of aroma. It smells absolutely wonderful. And I love that tartness coming from it. It smells really nice. Let's see if it tastes nice. Cheers. Oh yeah, you get that it's an IPA, first and foremost, that's the important thing, but it's got this slight tartness about it, which I'm guessing is coming from those gooseberries. I get that slight spicy rye note in there as well, it's very very subtle though, not overpowering at all, it works with that tartness of that cloudberry, which I'm guessing is cloudberry, really, really nicely. And then that's balanced really nice with a nice, gentle, fruity IPA. It 
it's got a medium body but it's slightly smooth as well but thankfully that gentle carbonation comes in just at the right time so it doesn't become too creamy on the mouth but yeah it's really nice subtle beer really nice subtle bitterness throughout gets a little bit stronger on the back end makes you want to go in for another swig and uh, 6.7 percent not getting the alcohol in terms of warmth maybe a slight almost like dessert liqueur sensation maybe this like nice sticky uh, resiny sweetness almost like you've got a preservative and you're putting it on your toast you get that slight breadiness there but then yeah that fruit comes in really really nicely i say it's delicate but there's a lot going on there but it's not overpowering at all and as i'm talking now i'm getting almost like a, a licorice sort of flavor on the back end so the beer seems to be developing as i'm talking this is just a lovely beer absolutely lovely little beer i was a little bit um apprehensive when i first smelt it on the neck of the bottle because you don't really get much at all and now that the rest is in yeah it's just about off-white and it actually looks quite creamy on the head so it's got that sort of creaminess about it nowhere near the level of like a milk stout or anything like that but it's just so nice and that carbonation just comes in really really nicely but yeah, I mean, again currents in there as well maybe some characteristics that you might pick up in a black ipa but it still has this vibrant fruitiness but it's all subtle 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 balanced 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 it's nowhere near a hop heads sort of beer and it's not like one of these cheating ipas where it's just pure fruit added into it but you do get that fruit tone and that slight tartness yeah the, the more i talk about it the more i absolutely love this beer but i'm going to cut it short here because i could just go on and on and get something new every couple of minutes it's just weird how wonderful the subtle and balanced it is but at the same time it's complex because it's always developing and i'd be interested to see i mean this has been out of the fridge for a little while now when it gets to room temperature how that would change but it's nice and crisp quite zingy as well almost getting like a slight nettle sort of sensation from it but um yeah another stellar beer from Puyala. um yeah i really can't fault it too much <laughs> definitely excuse me in fact it's a 10 out of 10 from me uh beautifully packaged uh it'd be nice if these bottles were a little bit cheaper don't get me wrong but i think i paid like five euros for it which i'm not too upset about um because if the beer's good in the bottle then you know i'm happy to every now and then pay a little bit extra for a high quality product but yeah beautifully designed beautifully crafted beer and another fantastic job from one of probably for me one of the most intriguing breweries out there and uh yeah speaking of breweries from estonia if you guys have got any suggestions of craft brewers that i should look out for coming from estonia or surrounding territories then let me know in the comments down below because I'm always into trying and exploring new beers and seeing what different people are doing, all these different like blends and fruit being used. It's just a wonderful thing. I absolutely love the world of craft beer and it's because of beers like this. So for me, it's hit ticking all the spots right now. I mean, I've just come off reviewing this fantastic pale ale uh, from Bivog out of Austria and uh yeah i'm on a roll with good beers tonight fantastic stuff definitely going to be hard to beat so if you've tried this beer then let me know your thoughts and opinions what are some of your favorite beers from this brewery and of course let me know which estonian craft brewers i should look out for or specifically make an effort to try and uh yeah check out my craft beer playlist down below i hope you'll join me for the next beer review uh, if you're a new viewer 
I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribed. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well, where it's a little bit more condensed and straight to the point, which is what some people like. And uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to share this beer with you guys, and I hope you've enjoyed it too. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you next time. Cheers.